had an incredible season. I mean, team captain, league's top goal scorer, and today's MVP. How do you do it? Well, guys, I stay focused and I give 100% every single game. And obviously, I have amazing teammates. Oh, come on. Everybody says that. There's got to be more to it than that. Yeah, what's your secret? Well, I do have a little pregame ritual that I do before every match. You listen to your favorite song? You have a lucky pair of socks? No, well, guys, I don't want to bore you with those details. <laughs> Please, tell us. What's your pregame ritual? All right. I'll tell you. It starts at 3.57 a.m., two days before the game. I barrel roll out of bed and grab off into the bathroom. I brush my teeth with my non-dominant left hand in triangular motions. I spit my spittle in the toilet instead of the sink. And then I rinse my mouth out with the shower head instead of the faucet before I change into my silky sunflower top tropical parrot shorts and my favorite cousin Rosalia's hand-painted wooden clogs that she bought in the Netherlands in 2009. She doesn't know I have them. I convinced her that Delta Airlines lost them. They didn't. But even if she did find out, she wouldn't care because they helped me win games. This is two days before the game? Yes. Then I down 11 and a half raw eggs, shell and all, sip three liters of Mountain Dew Code Red through a silly straw, and whisper a secret I've never told to a living soul into the left ear of my dog, Jelly Bean. I am kind of attracted to Steve Harvey. Then I spend a couple hours in the pouch house. What's the pouch house? The pouch house. It's an apparatus I invented for my pregame ritual that simulates the sensation of being in the womb, but it functions more similarly to a giant kangaroo pouch for humans. So after 98 minutes in there, I get on a train headed to a top secret location. I'm sorry, can I get clarity for one second? Don't ask! On the train, I sit in a completely neutral position facing straight ahead. I don't move, talk, or blink until the train stops. Once I arrive, I proceed to dribble backwards to see Monica. Who's Monica? Is she a ghost? Ooh, I bet she's a ghost. She's my ex. I visit her at the morgue. So she is dead. Where she works, and we recreate the conversation that ended it all. How could you do this to me? All is life, Monica. Kicking that sphere is the only thing that makes me feel alive anymore. So I mean nothing to you. Our four years together? Our matching moon phase tattoos? That night under the waterfall in Peru, it all meant nothing. I won't unchain myself from passion for the trite ideal of love. Call me trite again. Mi amor, me duele tanto romper tu corazón. I love it when you speak Spanish. Pero Monica. Tú sabes que tú eres el amor de mi vida. Entonces te lo digo mil veces. Hasta que lleguemos a nuestra última noche final. Bajo la luna cruel. And then we make love for hours. Ay, Dios mío. Then I get in a cab, put on my cleats, and here we are. A virtuoso. Beautiful. Bravo. Thank you. Uh, now, if there are no further questions, I got to go get started with my post-game ritual. <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me. So sorry. <laughs> Look at this. this is incredible. <laughs>